we all met up, the four of us from Azalea Dying uh, that weren't in jail, to, um, <lacht> that wasn't a joke, that was just a matter of fact. Ja, kenne ich. Das sind die einzigen Entschuldigungen, um nicht zur Probe zu kommen. Hochzeit, im Idealfall die eigene. Beerdigung, im Idealfall nicht die eigene. Oder Knast. Sie lagen sterbend am Boden, aber jetzt sind sie in neuer Besetzung zurück. Woven War. Hey. What's up? Hey guys, Josh and Shane. We all know what led to the founding of this band, so we don't want to talk about that again. But I think people might have expected a different kind of sound. We started writing and uh, we, with no vocalist in mind, and we the the songs that came out were the songs you know we sent to Shane. And once we kind of recorded a few demos, we were like, man, we shouldn't force the screaming. Like if the part calls for it, we'll put some. But honestly, we think the melodies stand on their own. You know, just they're good mm -hmm. melodies and a good song is a good song. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to have screaming if it doesn't call for it. Mm -hmm. Please don't listen right now. Was he the first choice? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we didn't try out anyone else. He is the only person who even did a demo, so yes. Did you know each other for quite a while or how did you come together? Uh, I've known Nick since we were kids and we used to be in a band together like 14 years ago. And uh, we've kept in contact this whole time. At some point uh, during Azalea Dine's career, me and him started working on like side project things and I was just singing over stuff that we wrote. And, uh, and then I guess whenever they You know, got the opportunity, they're just like, what about Shane? And then here I am. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Was a no-brainer to leave your old band? Yeah, we were all slowing down anyway. They're all getting married and, and uh, buying houses and stuff. But how was it to be on stage for the first time with a new band? Uh, well, funny story, we were talking about this last night. Our first tour was with Black Label Society in the States. And um, it was something we got on pretty last minute. And we had rented an RV. And within 60 miles of leaving home, the RV broke down. So we were stuck immediately. And it took two days for us to finally sort out a form of transportation. So we had to drive from San Diego to Cincinnati, which in you know hours is probably about 36 to 40 hours depending on traffic so we ended up because we were so far behind schedule showing up 20 minutes before we were supposed to play so we uh, ran upstairs set everything up nothing was working with the monitors we didn't have any monitors on stage no in-ears and we just we only had time to play like three or four songs and it was just three yeah and it was just awful like i mean we heard from people in the audience it wasn't that bad but for us just for our first show it was definitely Sucked. <laughs> it, it sucked at the time, but like looking back on it now, it's really funny. You know, it's like we at least made it because we didn't stop driving for 40 hours. You know, we drove through tornadoes and and traffic and just blizzards. Blizzard. We only stopped for gas and got like shitty gas station food. Like no no stop for meals or anything. But the next show, the next day in Cleveland was fucking awesome. Was it kind of a relief to leave the past behind and all those hassle and trouble? I think you know, after everything happened, about a month or two after that was when we were we all met up the four of us from Azalea dying uh that weren't in jail to um <laughs> that wasn't a joke that was just a matter of fact um we met up yeah we met up and uh decided we wanted to keep writing music together but we didn't uh really have a certain goal in mind but just having something to keep us busy was cool for us you know something to keep, take our mind off of the reality of what was going on so we kind of that's kind of how the uh, the record came together so quickly we had to to distract ourselves you know somehow so we just used that that time to write music and it just happened and came out of us really naturally that was a relief for us just to be able to put all of our, all of our effort into something while we just you know watch this dramatic event unfold in front of us how big was your influence on the writing well i was in texas most of it they would send me a blank song and then i would just take what I would do with this. With this next record, we'd all we'd love to see Shane contribute even more. Yeah. Like, I mean, you're not only a singer, you're a guitar player yeah. as well, so. Right. Yeah, next record, I'll be, I'll be playing a lot more guitar, writing a lot more guitar, because I'll have time to. <laughs> And would you call yourself a Christian band? Not at all. I, it's just, <clears throat> for us, and even, even with our, our old band, and the way we always try to approach it is, regardless of what anyone in the band believe spiritually it's just about the music and about the art and in this band specifically like 
there's no agenda for no spiritual agenda. It's just it's just about the music. And are you open minded to with any band or are there any borders like no black metal or whatever? No, no. We're, we're open for whatever. Yeah, for sure. Behemoth. Let's go. Like <laughs> like let's go. Um, Nickelback. Yeah, sure. Nickelback. <laughs> just anybody. Yeah, if 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 we can play in front of a few people, let's do it. We want to be back in Europe next summer though for the festivals. That's what we're we're yeah. we're sorting out right now. So that's that's the next step for us. Mm -hmm. So, so. Wolvenwalk können sich also vorstellen, sowohl mit Behemoth als auch mit Nickelback zu touren. Mit welcher anderen Band wollt ihr sie noch gemeinsam sehen? Wenn euch dieses Video gefallen hat, dann denkt dran, liken, teilen, abonnieren. Falls ihr von Wolvenwalk CDs, LPs, Tanktops oder eines der beiden Bundles mit Shirt und CD oder LP haben wollt, all das gibt es natürlich bei EMP. Klickt einfach auf den Link unten in der Beschreibung. Bis zum nächsten Mal, sagen Markus und Jan.